Hello, it's Sharon. How are you guys doing? It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I've been on here and did a live. Um, I've still been doing my 10 minutes a day creativity, which has always blossomed into more than 10 minutes the last week. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, and I've just been kind of filming things and putting them up on Instagram or making little shorts out of them for YouTube. And you may want to know why, and I will tell you, which is, um, I love doing the lives and connecting with you guys here, but I, I have found that when I, when I do this, I need to facilitate and talk and socialize and all that. And when it's just me and my art, I get into that flow. And so if you get my emails, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you've opened it and read it, but you get into that creative flow where you're just feeling wonderful. All, all the good, all the good feelings are happening as you're working on your art. You lose track of time. You feel really connected and present ironically at the same time. And you're just making things, uh, as you go along. So that's why I haven't done too many lives, but tonight is pretty straightforward. Let's get started. I should be able to do this in under 10 minutes. Uh, let's take a look here at what I've got. I'm going to turn on another camera. Give me one second here, folks. Um, I do like to try and get two camera angles because I'm fancy like that. Um, but, but seriously, I like to, uh, it's just extra, extra filming for um, our favorite YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff. Okay, so what are we doing today? So I have these two boards that I made. Um, these are, uh, it's DIY paint in the background. And then this one is a, from, this is a paint inlay from IOD, paint inlay, paint inlay, paint inlay. It's just kind of a mod posh. And I have these, uh, I have these decoupage papers. And so my, what I'm doing in this series is I'm going through my stash of things that I'm saving that are special that I have never used. And now I'm just kind of going through them all. So this right here is a watercolor from Roy Cycle. I don't think they make it anymore. I'll find out to make sure. But if you know Lexi Grenzer, she did these fabulous um, animal creatures right here, and she makes other ones too. So what I love about Lexi's art is her, her eyes that she does here. I just think that they're amazing. So what I want to do is I want to figure out how to use these eyes in my, in my art. So let's talk about color palette for a second. When I look at this, I see all the beautiful oranges in here and the little black outlines. And guess what? Over here, I've got oranges, yellows, black outlines too. And then let's flip this over. And we got the bear. And the bear has these beautiful touches of this green color, which I see over in here. And so that's how we're going to be tying um, these critters together. Um, with color, but also with the um, the decoupage being created by the same artist and having kind of the still, same stylistic approach to eyes. So if you know me, I love foxes very much. And what I want to do is get a fox. I was looking here earlier today and I was trying to figure out, do I want just, do I want the, both the fox eyes, both of them? Do I want half of the fox's eyes. I think they have more impact when there's two of them. So if there's two of them, let's take out my little paintbrush here. Um, from, I would need to have a probably like, I would probably need at least this wide and probably about this deep to go across my board here. So that would take up a good amount of my board. But what if I put the eyes down about here with kind of the ears popping up in the sunflower, that could look pretty cool. I don't think I need to have the fox's complete face in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with um, scissors, but I'll probably come back in and, uh, and do some ripping along the way. 
And I got these cute little scissors. And I'm just going to cut. Sorry, Mr. Fox, you're going to be. Do I want him to lose his whiskers? Yeah. Actually, what I think I'm going to do. <laughs> I love his whiskers. <laughs> I'm cutting through his, the whiskers. Um, gosh, but just look at this box. And he's just so beautiful. All right. I'm going to come along this side right here. And you may be saying, but you're leaving half of the boxes face out. Yes, I am. But I mean, who knows what I'll use it for down the road. I don't know. All right. I'm going to just come in here like this. I'm so sorry about your whiskers. Okay. And we're going to cut this guy out. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then I know I want the ears. I'm going to just start ripping along the ears. I like to rip um, because it kind of gives it a little bit more of an organic feel. And you don't get like this hard edge line right there. Um, and sometimes the, juxtapos the juxtaposition... When you look at something that has like this ripped line and then with a hard line, it helps to draw the eye in a certain direction. So we're going to play around with that too. But I know that I want the sunflower popping up from behind this guy's ears. All right. So let's just rip this out. And so... Here we are. So like, oh, look, his eyes aren't even on here. Okay, so there he is with his eyes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold this under. I like that. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's see. Can we lose a little bit more of his nose? Yes, we can. Look at that. And he's got the sunflower popping up behind him. Okay, I'm sold. All right. So I'm going to come in here and we're just going to rip a little bit more. I kind of am liking this pink color right here. Um, so I'm not going to go too, so you say that it rips, I'm going to go too close to the fox. And so I've got that over there. All right. And so I know I'm going to be Doing something like that here. And I like it. Oh, Marla! <laughs> Marla, I've been thinking about you today because I owe you a response to that very kind email that you wrote me. So thank you so much for it. I've been meaning to get back to you, but because um, I, I want to write a well thought out email, um, but I had to sit down and make time to do that, and I just haven't had time to do that. <laughs> But you've been on my mind. Um, I hope I hope you're doing okay. And I sent your package out yesterday. And I have to apologize. It's wrapped really funky um, because, uh, well, I won't go into it. But anyways, I like was got very protective with your package. It's probably a really good way of looking at it. And so I made it into Fort Knox with tape. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, you might need, um, yeah, you're definitely going to need some scissors to open that up. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Okay, so I've got my, my Mr. Fox here, and now I've got the bear. Now, if I do the bear, I can do the same thing with the bear, but he's got such a big face that most of it, like his ears will just be going off the side. And you know what? That's okay. <clears throat> I'm also not too worried about covering up these strawberries. These are paint inlays. If I wanted to have the strawberries in here again, I can use my inlay a second time and I can like shut them up here in this corner. So I think we're good there. All right. So let's quickly cut. Let's see how I want to do this. All right. I'm just going to rip because I'm really liking the ripped effect more. <laughs> more or less. Yep, it's going to get to you and everything's going to be intact. <laughs> um, I've been, before this winter storm, 
Uh, I've been having the worst um, experiences with UPS. It's and it's and um, knock on wood, USPS has never damaged an order of mine. But in the last few months, UPS. I don't know what's going on <laughs> with UPS, but um, there are packages showing up and um, they've been ripped open and stuff is missing. And to try and get through to UPS to fix things is a, a crazy person's game. It, it's like I called them and um, I got put, it wasn't even like bad hold music. It was like static. It was like the kind of static. I'm like, are they strategizing that by putting this static on here that I am not going to stay on the line? But anyways, I stay on the line. Long story short, nobody's calling me back. I can't can't get reimbursed for stuff. And I don't want my customers to be upset because, you know, it's not their fault that UPS ran over their package with a tractor. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. Marla, have you been watching, put what sideways? Put the fox, oh, put the, put the bear sideways? Like something like this? Is that what you're thinking? Like, uh, oh, so his whole face fits in there. That's what you're saying, I bet. Um, that could be super cute. Uh, I, I'm kind of liking that idea, Marla. I'm, I'm thinking that's what you mean. <laughs> All right, let's keep ripping here and let's let's try it out. Marla, have you gotten into any of the um, decoupage papers that you've ordered? Let me know. Curious minds want to know, Marla. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking you mean yes to uh, your, the way I orientate the bear. Now tell me about, uh, have you made any more art? What have you been creating? I want to know. All right, let's get this bear. I think I'm going to need that. And then I want to give his ears here a little bit. Marla, I'm so glad that we are, you know, talking live. <laughs> live as life can be. <laughs> I can't tell you how, how happy that makes me. <laughs> um, so you're saying not yet to your art. Okay. Okay, maybe this will inspire you a little bit. Let's get these bear's ears. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna pull that under. What do you think, Marla? Or do I have I got a little bit of that inlay up here, the Moroccan inlay, which I kind of like. Okay, let's get the right, so we want to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to be hanging these all on the same, I'm making a gallery wall, Marla, so um, I want to, let's see what she's saying, oh yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to make a gallery wall, Marla, I don't know if you've seen seen this yet. If you look in the, that's, I, I still have a little few touch-ups to do, but that's going to go on my gallery wall. And, and then if you've been watching me make progress with my side eye Sally, I'm going to be putting her on the wall and I want to put these on the wall too. So let's see. So that like his, a lot of his, I think we can make this work. Let's see here. I want to get, I like, I want one of, at least one whole ear. So I'm going to shift him just a little bit like that. So we have this green still kind of comes around here. And then his face over here just goes off the side. 
And then with the fox, we'll keep the fox. Um, we'll keep the fox like this. He's smaller. I like the orange around him. I like seeing the outline of his ears. I think they're really cute. <laughs> All right. So we have a plan. And we're going to get going here with the decoupage. I'm going to move. I have some extra, I cannot pronounce it, so excuse me as I butcher this word, but this is a made by Marley Shino Swar. I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce most things, but I've got it going. This is another one for my gallery wall. So you can kind of see how, I think you have this one, Mar uh, Marla. I'm pretty sure you do. But I like the idea of like people pulling back wallpaper off this old mansion and underneath they find like, all these secret things. So I'm kind of going with that story in my in my head, among other stories going in my head. All right, so let's start with Mr. Fox. Now, when you do larger pieces like this, this isn't that, that big. You want to um, do it kind of in sections. And so I know I like it like that. And he's got, I want to move it over maybe just a wee bit. It doesn't need to be too centered, but I want to get his cheeks on here. Okay, so I'm going to be, I'm just going to flip this down like that. <clears throat> I'm going to start with my decoupage medium. I'm using a DIY liquid patina tonight. And let's see if I can get to open. Okay, I just smacked the floor with it. There we go. It's not what you got, it's how you use it. All right, so I got my decoupage medium here and I, I usually just go off the lid and we're just gonna start with a section down here. off the edge there. We want to make sure that every single little spot is covered. If you miss even like a tiny bit, that little tiny bit where there's no decoupage medium underneath it, it could bubble and come loose. And that's the kind of thing that can't be fixed with a heat gun. All right. We're getting there. All right, so now put this down here and I'm going to be flipping him up and yay, roll is everything. Okay, we're going to smooth this down like this. I'm just using my hand right now, but when I'm, when I'm done, I'm going to go back over this with a um, little piece of saran wrap plastic, which is a little trick that I use. I learned from, I think from Royce and I think made, but I think uh, Lael from Made by, by Marley has talked about it too. All right, we're going to get that down. And you can see he's got some lines. It's all good. The lines will, will disappear. I'm going to flip this around so you guys can see it. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm and I just kind of keep working up. The other thing too about the, the DIY paint, you can kind of see how right here, you can kind of see like how it changes colors when you put the top coat on it or the wax, you see how it's kind of deepening? You can see the line right here, right? That's how the DIY paint changes. I really love it. I'm really curious to see what it's gonna look like with the fox on top of it. All right, let's smooth this guy's ears down like that. We still have a little bit more to go. Let's finish this ear over here. Make sure I got 
close up there, but not too much where I leave a big gunky line. Okay, we're gonna smooth his ear down here. And then we're gonna come over here, take care of his ears over here. I think he looked kind of good with like a pirate patch and a big hoop sticking out of his earring. <laughs> I mean, a big earring sticking out of, a big hoop sticking out of his ear. All right, we'll lie down there. And then that's why I ripped it accidentally, but it's just lying right down. All right, so let me flip this around for you. Like that. Mr. Fox. All right, do I have my saran wrap? Oh, I do. Oh, good. So the little trick, if you don't know it, is to get a little ball of cling wrap or saran wrap. And you use this to smooth out the wrinkles and push it down. And the reason you use this instead of your hands is your hands are good for like the first kind of pressing it down, but this allows you, this doesn't build up friction and wear a hole into your decoupage if you're ironing out a lot of, uh, a lot of wrinkles. Uh, and then the other trick is um, let this dry overnight. And if you come back and you still see wrinkles, which is possible, take a heat gun to it. So I don't know if you can see right here, but I got a really good line from the paper fold going in here. But if I, and that'll probably still be here when I come back tomorrow, but I'm going to take a heat gun to it and that will shrink right on up. All right. And then I've got this extra paper hanging off here. I'll come back and cut that later. I can kind of see here where I just need to make sure we're making contact here. And you can kind of see it. So like you can see like this rough cut right here where I ripped it. And then you can see over here where it's kind of smooth. And so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I might just leave it or I might cover it up. I might put some stamps or some other decoupage paper right there but there is Mr. Fox right there let's move on to Mr. Bear okay I'm liking this and then I had wanted to move it over so that a little bit of his face was going off the side over here and we had just like some green popping through over here. I'm actually gonna move it over just a little bit more. I saw this really cute, it's like a meme of like a Facebook post and it had a picture of this really cute bear. It was like rolling on its back and grabbing its feet and it just looked, you know, really cute like this bear here. And someone had wrote, how can something that look so cute rip you to pieces and kill you? And I was like, I don't know, <laughs> but it happens. Um, one of my friends actually in the fall in Virginia got, uh, she was walking her mom's dog, I think in rural, rural Virginia. I can't not pronounce words tonight. Um, and, but not like out in the middle of nowhere and got attacked by a bear. She was in the hospital for a while, but she's doing better now. She's out of the hospital and doing rehab but I can only imagine how scary that was. And knowing my friend, she protected that dog until it was physically impossible for her to do that. Okay, so again, we're doing this by sections. I'm gonna start here. I got this extra here, I'll, I'll cut it all off later. I just really wanna make sure, especially along this bottom here, that I've got a good coating of the liquid patina on here. I'm just really kind of working it in. Okay, let's fold this up. And I'm gonna smooth it down like that. And he's got the little line here too in the middle of his head. All good. Let's smooth it off to the end. So looking good there. And then I got a little bit more to do here. He is cute. 
Mr. Bear. <laughs> he is cute. All right. So basically, we need to go up to about here to get Mr. Bear tucked into place. Marla, have you done decoupage? You've probably done decoupage before. You're probably not new to it. I'm curious if you are, if you've done it before, do you have any tips that you like, that you keep in mind? Like, do you have any secret back pocket uh, best practices to share here? Let me know and I'll share them. See, now we're gonna make sure I got right there. Look, like I missed a little spot. Oh, okay, and I need to go you know, a little bit up here for his ear. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna start by smoothing down up through his ear on this side. I'm going to come on over, work on over to this side. That looks good. Let's, I'm going to get some new saran wrap because I got some gunk on this old one right here. So Marla has done decoupage many times. And decoupage on fabric or with fabric? Like, have you decoupage fabric onto something? I have, I'm not, um, I don't work too much with fabric, but Marla, I probably never mentioned this to you because we're mostly email and handwriting, but my daughter goes to the Portland Fashion Institute in uh, Portland, and she is, um, she loves, and she loves sewing, and uh, making things. Uh, she's quite the thrift shopper, like how I can take furniture and make it beautiful. She can take something that looks and smells disgusting and upcycle it so that it's a stunning new outfit to wear. Okay. Here we go. on okay got it okay all right and now we got this guy let's move down i think yes missed a little bit up here now i'm being a little bit sloppy here so if you want to see someone do some really super neat decoupage I would look at uh, Made by Marley on her her site or the fabulous Miss Royce. <laughs> Both of them have wonderful, wonderful, unique styles. But I always feel like a slob when I'm doing decoupage compared to them. They make they they make it look easy, right? And then, but they're old hands. They've been doing it for a while. All right. So I'm thinking this is looking good. I am going to take the scissors and just cut the excess off over here along the side. Not all of it, but I'm just really curious. I want to see what he looks like. I want to get a better. I'll come back tomorrow and after this dries, I probably shouldn't have cut it so close. Oh, well. Okay, so here is Mr. Bear. He is adorable. I love him. <laughs> it's really funny, like how, I don't know, anything, all the stuff I've been working on since I started this 10 minutes a day has been, uh, I'm just really liking everything that I do. I think part of it is because I, if, I don't have time to sit around and sulk if something didn't turn out the way that I like. I just I keep moving it, moving on it. Okay, 
At least that's my theory. Let me tuck this away. And let's look at these guys. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Almost birthday, girl. Marla, meet Amanda. Amanda, meet Marley. I mean, Marley, sorry. Marla. I think Marley, as in made by Marley, but uh, Marla. Marla's out of Florida. And Amanda is a neighbor, friend, customer. And Marla's a customer, too. Um, so please, please meet each other and say hello. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think? Let's see. Oh, there's a hello to Marla. Send Marla lots of love. And Dee, hey Dee, how are you? I'm so happy you guys are here. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the extent. This is as far as I thought about getting tonight. So we have Mr. Fox with um, his sunflower. And then the bear kind of block out the strawberries. But like I said, if I wanted to, I could put some strawberries back up in here. Um, I have great scraps of, I don't think, like some of the orange might go in here like this along the corner, but I don't think I'm not, I'm thinking I like these guys just the way that they are as far as decoupage paper, but I do want to come back with them some stamps or maybe some other colors or maybe I think I'm going to leave that as is, but like, I don't know something up in here. I want to see stamps and then something along the edge here. But I love these guys. They're just adorable. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. So yeah. So just kind of going back and circling back to the beginning, I was talking about um, flow at the beginning of this. And I felt like I kind of got in the flow tonight. But this this is a little bit more. I kind of I did do earlier today you know, going through the decoupage papers and wondering what I wanted to use tonight, specifically on these boards. And um, I pulled this out from my stash that's been gathering dust for a long time. And I loved how the colors, the palette mat matched here. And then this green goes like there's green and turquoise here in the bear and his eyes. And at first I was just looking at the eyes and Marla suggested, you know, using the, um, turning the board to this horizontal position. And, uh, and then now you can see more of the green up in here, which I wasn't even really paying attention to earlier. I was just focused on the eyes, but you can kind of see the green coming up in here. Um, so yeah, I mean, who knows what I'll do next? I mean, it could be fun even to do some molds on these guys too. So we'll see. I really want to kind of keep it in a series like I, like I have an animal on this one and then I have, uh, where's my other one? I don't have an animal on my other one. Um, I've kind of got this girl. I feel like this, this is going to be the one where I need to like do something, some pattern in the background, like texture or something like that. But you know, maybe the story is, you know, she's up here and she makes friends with the animals in the forest or something like that. And they save her from starving or something like that. I don't know. I like to do stories um, in, I, I put together stories in my head as I'm working on my art that kind of ties everything in together. Um, whoops. I don't know. I didn't mean to do a thumbs down. I don't know how that happened. I meant to show that. <laughs> Marla's saying hi back to Amanda. And we got Judy. Hey, Judy, thank you so much. That's really nice of you. I, I appreciate it. Um, I have been loving my work too. Um, and that's not always the case for me. Like I get, I typically can get, I can get frustrated. I'm going to move my face up in here, but I get, I get frustrated. And, um, Something doesn't go the way that I planned and then I get mad and then I stomp away and sulk and then I don't look at it for like a couple of weeks. And in this process of doing art every single day, I don't have time for that, you know, so I need, so my brain doesn't go into that negative direction. It's like, okay, what next? How do I, how do I come back to this? How do I fix this? 
I don't know if you watched the Side Eye Sally, but like I, I literally like the fairies split on me. I have no idea where they went. And then when I went to stamp um, Side Eye Sally down the bottom the second time, the letter I was missing, and I was like, it's those fairies, I know it. But anyways, like I. In the past, I would have gotten really mad and I wouldn't have stamped it. And then I am for a couple of weeks and I would have just sat there. But I'm like, I got to get over this and move on. So let's just work with what we have and hope that the eye shows up. Maybe the fairies will show up too. Who knows? <laughs> they still haven't, but that's the way it is. So, um, yeah, so it's good. I've been loving this experiment. I'm in 23 days in. Thank you, Judy. That's really nice. I love my store too. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to run and I get to meet a lot of wonderful people and it's really so much more than about the store, but like those, I, I really feel like the products that I have on my site, like, and the brands like really attract like-minded women artists. Um, and I love that, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So this experiment is going great. I'm 23 days in and um, I've learned, I've learned a lot. I've just learned a lot and I've created a lot of art. So um, yeah, I'm, I've been working on little blogs here and there. You can find them on my website about like some of my experiences. Um, and I've, uh, I've been sending out emails too about them. So I'm all about trying to get uh, everybody on board. <laughs> But I think I'm going to keep doing this into the new year, um, into February. I mean, 10 minutes a night, at, 10 minutes a night is, it always turns into like what we're like now over half an hour into this, but um, I love this and I feel so much better. I've recharged at the end of a very long work day. I've been up since 6 a.m. Um, doing cybersecurity stuff. So, um, and saving the world. <laughs> from the bad guys or helping other people do it at least. So um, this just really makes me feel really good ending my day with bright, wonderful colors and these beautiful eyes watching, waiting um, to see what happens next. So um, yeah, so I'm just, um, thank you very much for joining. I'm beginning to babble now. <laughs> I'm going to have a cup of tea with some honey and I'm going to put on my pajamas, and then I get into bed, I'm going to watch something. <laughs> um, so that's it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll be back tomorrow night, probably doing, I'll be doing another live tomorrow night, and what I'll be doing tomorrow night is, um, I'm going to put these aside, and I have, um, I have, how many more boards do I have to do? I've got quite a few. I have, um, I need to do, I need to pick out more decoupage tomorrow. And I've got, so this is Moroc Moroccan, I want to say Moroccan holiday, but I think that Moroccan holiday is actually made by Marley paper, but this is another inlay. So, um, and then I've got this one, which is the same. Oh, I, you guys can't see. Hold on a second. Um, so, um, you're welcome, Judy. Um, so I got these two. So this is the exact same inlay on two different colors. Boom. Right. So on this one here, I'm thinking I want to do, um, I, I want to preserve like this fun inlay, but I also, and I want to do something that kind of ties them together, but I don't know what. So I've got those two and then I've got this one. It's kind of boring, right? But we know now that the power of decoupage. <laughs> I could come in here and do all kinds of little fun things. Don't know what yet. And then this one is the what started it all. This is the um, <clears throat> uh, Flora Vita paint inlay by Debbie from DIY. And then that's uh, an inlay from La Campagna. No, no. Anyways, I'm beginning to fade. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, but anyways, I want to play with this. Like, I don't think this is going to, I'm making this as a Valentine's Day present for my husband. So I still have more to do, but I'm still not 100% convinced I want to give it to him yet because I'm getting those feelings of it's not good enough. <laughs> it's not done. So, you know, we'll see. But um, 
yeah, I'll do something fun. I I would like um, from the same the same decoupage layer I got this from this artwork here. Maybe carry something from that over into here. But yeah, we'll see. That's tomorrow. <laughs> um, and uh, Marla's saying, oh, I enjoyed this time with you too, Marla. Um, really good to chat live with you. I will send you an email back. Uh, I just wanted to respond to some of the very nice things that you shared with me. And thank you for being vulnerable with me. Um, and I got your back, at least with art supplies. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some bad jokes. <laughs> okay. Everybody have a lovely evening and I will um, see you tomorrow night. Thank you.